Wow, that thing's huge. SpaceX, Pete, they got it off after a hold at T minus 40. She hadn't blown up yet, Pete. That's critical. Max Burner, Pete. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. Hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be shut down of the first stage. It's incredible to watch. Uh, we Kills. start to. Just chills. I remember when they all made us watch John Glenn get off when I was in, in elementary school, and it was like, oh my God, we're like, we're a great country. You know, we're beating the Russians. They had Sputnik. We've got this. Wow. Uh, Morgan, that's exactly what my have separation about. there. trying to think about the future once again with aspiration and not fear. Uh, this certainly points to that kind of moment. Got this. this. Listen, you can say what you want about Elon Musk. You can say what you want about Tesla, about Twitter. But when it comes to SpaceX and the space industry, and specifically this emerging, burgeoning, fast-growing commercial space sector, there's SpaceX and there's everyone else. And that is in evidence right now as we're watching this historic <laughs> well said. flights take place of Starship. This is incredible. This is history in the making as the most powerful rocket ever built is now flying and making its way to orbit for the first time. At about three minutes, guys, you're going to see this booster. If things go according to plan, it's going to separate from the Starship transportation spacecraft. It's going to fall back to Earth for a controlled landing in the Gulf of Mexico, and you're going to see that Starship structure that was on the top of that. Uh, is that, saw it on the, on is the that going the way it wants to be going? Its own engines. It's going to move deeper into space, and it's going to start pushing towards those orbital speeds. Uh, in Has it already separated, Peter? Is it flying to pieces? So the whole thing's going to take about an hour and a half, right? Um, and no, obviously no, no personnel on board. No, nope. uh, and there's no cargo this time. That's right. Um, and all of this will lead to what's going on with all that tumbling? Part of this program, Morgan, of, of what in the next say two years? So there, there are going to be many, many tests after this one. Uh, as I noted before, this is a, a system that is designed to be reusable. They're not testing the reusability aspects on this flight. That is not part of this mission. But you're going to see those tests. You're going to eventually see tests that, that do involve, involve crew. You're going to see tests around the moon. Uh, and hmm. it all goes according to plan. And there's other things that have to happen, too, for Artemis. But you could see... This system, as soon as... It's is that separation, Pete, or is that... But as soon as 2025, uh, basically take astronauts... An anomaly, the and our allies as they say. ...from lunar orbit down to the surface of the moon. It's a $2.9 billion contract for SpaceX with NASA. Uh, it's the lunar, the human landing contract. Uh, and it's just one well, example... They're still cheering down of there. ...many ways that this Starship system uh, is going to be is going to be used both for government purposes and for commercial purposes. It's very disruptive what the capabilities of this are going to be. The last thing I would say is it'll be used for future Starlink launches too. 